was so blessed because of their commitment that allowed this festival to continue. And now it's time for the new generation. It is time for the new generation of folks in the Fillmore to roll up our sleeves and to make sure that this festival reminds people all over San Francisco that we are still here and we still matter. So thank you to Project Level and Big Rich and the team and what you are doing to keep this dream alive. Thank you to all the volunteers, Tamika and so many incredible people that have joined us here today. Thank you to the vendors and the folks who are selling food and items. Make sure you support them because we want them to come back every single year. Thank you to the San Francisco Police Department and the work that you do to keep our community safe. And also, I want to basically bring up Miss Juneteenth and this, these beautiful ladies. This is our future. And don't they look gorgeous? So you want to say a few words because you are representing in your crown and your beautiful gown. So why don't you introduce yourself and say a few words about how important it is to have this amazing festival. Hi, my name is True Amore Valentine and I'm very excited to be Juneteenth every year and thank you everybody for making me Little Miss Juneteenth and for everybody to come here and watch me in the parade um, do whatever we do. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Did you want to say something as well? Um, my name is Jayla and I'm happy for everybody who's here and thank you for supporting us. My name is Aaliyah Moore and I'm very happy to be here because um, we're a community is the greatest place that we could ever be with you. Yeah. All right, let's give them another hand. Woo! So proud. They make us so proud. We're also here with some of our elected representatives and some of you know when I became mayor, I made a decision to put the best person in the District 5 seat because many of you know Valley Brown. Many of you know how hard she's worked for this community, how she continues to be an advocate for so many resources, for the Fillmore, for Japantown, for Coal Valley. She is just a true community representative, and we are so grateful to have her as our supervisor of District 5. Ladies and gentlemen, Valley Brown. This community, it really means everything to me. This is really the heart, District 5 is the heart of the city. It absolutely is. We are the most diverse, vibrant neighborhoods in the district. So I am so proud to represent you and I'm so proud to be here in Juneteenth. And all of the people that uh, Mayor Breed thank, and I want to thank them. And I also, I also want to thank the fire department uh, because they're always here also helping out, doing what they need to do. But it's actually the community that brings this together. Yeah, at City Hall, you know, we give a little bit of money here and there, but it's the community yeah. day in and day out that work all year round. They work all year round to bring this Juneteenth to the, the neighborhood because this is the oldest Juneteenth in the country. Yes. It's a, it's, it's a tradition, and it's something that we will never, ever let go. And I also want to let you know, it's also the San Francisco Black Film Festival is, is happening right now. And it's happening around the city, but it's also happening in the Fillmore Heritage Center. So please, there's some amazing films. I've watched a couple of them. Please go out and, uh, you know, see these films that are made by black filmmakers. And I, I can't even tell you how important and how powerful they are. So I want to thank everybody for coming today. Please buy things, eat food, enjoy yourself because this is one of the best communities in San Francisco. And now I'm going to turn it over to one of our allies, uh, Senator Scott Weiner. Thank you, thank you, and I just want to say how proud I am that London Breed is our mayor. When I go to Sacramento, how proud I am 
that she is our leader. And I just want to say Valley Brown is doing a fantastic job uh, as District 5 supervisor. We work together regularly. Uh, it is such an honor to represent the great city of San Francisco in the California State Senate. And you know, it's funny when you get outside of San Francisco, people sometimes make fun of us a little bit. They say, oh, you guys are out there. You're doing all sorts of crazy things. But when we do quote unquote crazy things, like embrace immigrants and embrace diversity and make clear that everyone is welcome, guess what? Five or 10 years later, they're all doing what we started doing first. So they follow our lead. And that's what makes San Francisco so amazing. And with all the problems in this country now and the anger and the craziness in the White House and all of that, the most important thing we can be doing, we're gonna make change nationally, the most important thing we can be doing is stay strong locally and pull together as a community and make clear that no matter what they do, we're gonna stick together and lift each other up. So have a wonderful Juneteenth, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Weiner and Supervisor Valley Brown, two amazing leaders. I also want to take this time to recognize that our police chief is here, Bill Scott. Thank you. And as I said earlier, members of the San Francisco Police Department for keeping our community safe. I also want to um, um, recognize our new Department of Public Health Director, Grant Colfax, is joining us here today. We are shining a new light on mental health reform in our city so that we can focus on taking care of people in our community who are struggling. Oh, I also want to acknowledge um, our new fire chief. Uh, Janine Nicholson is here with us as well. She's somewhere out there. And also, I want to say that we are also hosting, in addition to the San Francisco Black Film Festival, the San Francisco Juneteenth Festival, one of the things that I thought was important to host today is a job fair. So if anyone is looking for an employment opportunity, right over there, um, somewhere. What's that, 1338? 13, 13. 1449. 14, 1449 Webster Street, but the old Blockbuster, you guys remember? If anyone is looking for employment opportunities, please stop by the Success Center. We wanted to do it at the same time as Juneteenth, but that place is open five days a week. You can stop by Monday through Friday. This is about providing resources and support to this amazing community. And again, it's such an honor to be mayor during the Juneteenth. It is, I'm just so excited. I'm so happy to see the artists and to see the kids and to see the families and to see the diversity and, and what San Francisco truly represents. Um, I want you to have fun today. I want you to enjoy yourself. Make sure you clean up after yourself and put stuff in the trash as well because we take care of our city. And also, before I turn the mic back over to my baby Kayla over here, I just want to say a few words about this group that's about to perform because we are going to have a good time today. The C Notes, this is a mother, father, and five kids who are not only beautiful, but just musically talented. They performed at my inauguration. They performed at the Lieutenant Governor's inauguration. They perform all over the city. They are incredible revolutionary artists, and they make me so proud of San Francisco. They were all born and raised here, and they are just beautiful young people who are just using music as a vehicle for change. And so with that, I also like to turn it over to Kayla, who is going to be your MC for today. Kayla grew up, born and raised in this community. Her mama, daddy, born and raised in this community. And the next generation of young people, they are showing you how incredible they are through their talents, through their adversity, through their resilience. And I'm just really proud of all the work that they continue to do to demonstrate the very best of San Francisco and what we have to offer in the African-American community. Amen. So thank you all so much for being here. Have a wonderful time at the Juneteenth Festival. Thank you, thank you, London and Valley Brown and Scott Weiner for that welcome. But we also have a special speech for you. Yes. <laughs> oh, we do? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Mayor 
Air Breeze. Thank you for becoming a real life hero. Someone I can see and know that heroes are real people. Thank you for giving us hope. Hope for all of us, but especially for my future. You're the boss and I'm boss in training. Continue leading our beautiful city with the pride I see in your eyes and with the spirit I feel from your heart. Love true. again for that warm welcome again welcome to the 69th annual jewel team let's make some noise thank you and like london said we have the curtis family other known as the c notes up to the stage let's make some noise i know you have an introduction as well you always have to speak jewel what's happening in san francisco Thank you. Right now, before we get things started, we want to start with the Black National Anthem. Recognize our heritage. All right. So, if you would, if we could just have just a moment of silence until we sing this. You can sing along with us if you know the song. We're just going to only sing the first verse of it. 